In this video, you will learn how to create timer in your Flutter app. Timer is usually used for countdown as shown in my emulator. For example, when I click on the start timer button, it will register a timer and reduce the integer count by one for every second. This is just one of the application of timer in Flutter. However, there are much more that you can do with this timer, such as making HTTP requests for every subsequent duration in background. So in this tutorial, I will show you how to create this timer function. Then you can customize according to your needs. So in my code, I have created a simple scaffold widget with an app bar and a body widget to display the count value and an elevated button to execute the timer function. Here I have also initialized an integer variable to hold the count value and by default is set to 10. Next, we have to initialize a timer. Since the timer is only used when the button is clicked, I will set it as late initialization using the late keyword so that it don't take up the memory space. Next, I will be creating a start timer function. In this function, I will then initialize the timer variable using timer.periodic function. This periodic function requires a duration and a callback parameters. Duration is where you can set the interval of the timer and the callback is what will be executed for each interval. So here I will set the duration to one second. In the callback function, firstly, I will check if the start variable is zero, which means it's ended. I will stop the timer by calling cancel method. Else, I will reduce the count value by one. So now we have completed our start timer function. Before we add this function into our main code, Please be aware that whenever we use this timer in Flutter, make sure you dispose the timer manually in the overridden dispose method. This will prevent memory leak as the timer will never live longer than the specific widget class. Now let's add the start timer function into the elevated button on press. So instead of starting at 10, I will change the start count value to 15. Now let's try it out in the emulator. So as you can see, when I click on the elevated button, the count value above started to count down by reducing one for every second interval. When the count value reached to zero, the timer will cancel and the count value will stay at zero. So this is how you create timer in your Flutter app. As I mentioned earlier, timer in Flutter not only used for countdown, but you can also do something like stopwatch. For example, I can change the start value to zero and in the start timer function, I can modify the timer to be canceled at 15. And instead of reducing the count value by one, I will change it to increment by one. Now, let me show you in the emulator. So as you can see, when I click on the elevated button, it started to increment the count value by one for every second until it reached 15, which similar like a stopwatch. These are two examples of using timer in Flutter. If you needed to execute a function or method periodically, timer is what you need. You just have to modify the duration and the callback to match your requirements. In conclusion, this is how you create and use timer in your Flutter app. If you have any question, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial.